Welcome, in front of me is an Asus ROG Phone 3 and today I'll show you how to enable the power saving mode. And to get started all you really need to do is pull down the notification panel, expand it and look for the toggle. So let's see if I can quickly find it. There we go, so there is a battery modes and I believe that's where we will find the power saving mode. And there we go. So once you tap on it, it opens up the energy savings with balance, power saving, super saving and then custom 1 and 2. Now custom 1 and 2 will give you uh, options to what the power saving will turn off, what will be left on. Uh, but I'm just gonna go over the two here. So power saving mode, there we go, boom, enabled. And it's right now on. So mobile data will be uh, temporarily disabled shortly after your device enters sleep mode. Uh, sleep mode meaning when you lock the device like so after what I described as a short while, um, basically disables from it. And what that means for you is that whatever uh, application would require internet, for instance, to get its notifications. So uh, as an example, Facebook uh, is one of them. If you would get normally notifications from Facebook when the device is locked, uh, with the power saving mode, you will not get those notifications until you actually interact with the device. So the moment you unlock it, uh, it will exit the sleep mode, reconnect to Wi-Fi or mobile data, and then get the updates that it kind of didn't get while it was in a sleep mode. Now there's also the super saving, which will turn the display or the entire screen a dark mode, the entire phone, reduce uh, things like the uh, refresh rate, uh, and also uh, drop down the max brightness quite substantially, even when you bring it up to max, it isn't necessarily the brightest as it was before. Uh, but if you're planning to save as much battery as you can, then uh, keeping it on the lowest, uh, uh, as low as you can, uh, brightness will also benefit you with the battery. So dropping it from like max brightness to, for instance, half gives you about two or three hours. So it is a fairly good uh, trade-off, I would say, if you're really needing to save the battery. Now going back to it, once you're done with it, you can simply go back to the balance, which will restore the normal functionality of the device. So that being said, this is how you would enable the power saving mode. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.